Hey y'all, hey. Okay, so Tori Kelly has dropped her promo for her upcoming new era and her new single, Missing You, right? And it has caused a lot of conversations. The conversation that I want to focus on, though, is the strategy of how these artists are flowing in and out of genres while still expanding their brands. Now, Tori Kelly has an amazing voice without a doubt. I've been following her since she was doing covers on YouTube of Justin Timberlake, Frank Ocean, Brandy, and so much more. Now, Tori Kelly has done records within the genres of pop, obviously, country, and gospel. Now, because of this promo and a snippet of her song, Missing You, a lot of people are anticipating her to have like a Justin Bieber journals type R&B album. But to me personally, I feel like the snippet is giving early 2000s pop, which was influenced a little bit, well, a lot by R&B and hip hop. So it's giving me a little bit of JoJo, Get Out, Christina Aguilera, Jeannie in a Bottle. If we're talking about now in this era, I would say it gives me like if Ed Sheeran and Kehlani was on a song, it gives me that. Now, there are different artists, singers who have popped in and out of different genres successfully, such as Ed Sheeran went on to do a hip hop album. Justin Bieber, like I mentioned before, had journals, which was more R&B influenced. Ariana Grande has intertwined R&B and hip hop and pop. Beyonce has mixed pop with R&B and has done country in her albums. And Rihanna has done damn near, if not every genre. I do think for singers who do not want to stay in a box, they are doing so or going about it in a strategic way. Whereas one, they're either coming out the gate with music that blurs the line, which you can probably say alternative R&B. Or they have a solid brand foundation that although you are playing in another genre, there are things that remain consistent throughout your brand. I can use Rihanna as an example. Strategically, every album that Rihanna has came out with has also had a mixture, a healthy mixture of different genres. Example, her first album, Music of the Sun, obviously her being marketed and branded coming out of the gate as the pop star from the islands. She had pop music interplayed with dance hall music. Second album, she came out the gate with SOS, which was pop, but it mixtured in with rock, which then transitions to more rock on her third album, Good Girl Gone Bad. But Tori Kelly, to me, although she has music that's labeled as pop, she has always had an undertone of R&B and soul in her music. In the early eras, R&B singers would have at least one gospel record on their album, so it really shouldn't be a surprise for singers to jump from different genres anyways. But I do feel like for certain artists, especially black artists, they tend to get more backlash when they do so. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below.